Well, hi, guys and gals. It's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I'm going to give you a quick update on my plumbing progress. Uh, yeah, remember the vent I told you I needed to put in? This is the vent for my sink vanity. And look at this. Right up the wall. And up in there. And coming across here, and hooks over there, and comes all the way down here, and then it goes into the stack there, and we also have our stack uh, vent cut into the stack for coming down right here for our washer machine. So we're all legal beagle on our vent now and my ceiling, see if I can back up here a little bit, my ceiling looks like Richard Peake's groundhog got in here and digging holes all over the place. Either that or it was awfully big mice eating away at the cheese. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Now I gotta concentrate on my drain for the shower stall. I'm cleaning up now. Gotta glue down, uh, cement down my uh, shower base. And once that's cemented down and the cement is cured, then I can start on my drain in the basement. And that'll finish up my rough-in plumbing. Hold on to your hats. Well, hi guys and gals. It's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I'm out here in the shop. And I'm making something to use in my bathroom model. So hang on to your hats. It's underneath my helmet. Here we go. Baby's hot! He's hot! Can you guess what it's for? I'll show you in a minute. Hold on to your hats, because here we go. Okay, does that give you a hint what we're going to do? Uh, I made myself a mixer. Now we're going to see if it's going to work. It turns the dry stuff, but when you put water in there, will it still turn that? Let's find out. Well, we're going to try dumping it into another bucket and see if we get it mixed all the way down. It feels like it's still kind of stiff down at the bottom. So let me get another bucket and we'll go at it. Well, there we have it. The next step is to take it inside and slap it on the floor. Let's go do it. Okay, here we are and I've got my layout all set up. I want to be four inches in from the outside edge of my shower base. 
and I need it to be about an inch thick before I set it down in there. And so we're going to go to town, see what we can get here. I didn't want it too thick, I, and I didn't want it too wet either. I didn't want it running all over the place. Especially I didn't want it running down into the basin. This one works water of my shower stall and also helps anchor down. You can see what comes through my pre-hole here. I don't want to touch down there. That goes down to the part of my area. Actually, it's my storage area. So it's not supposed to be hurt here. I'm going to be on this because it's about two bags. And you can see right now that I'm not going to be two bags. This is one bag and this is going to be small fishing, I think. This is what I'm supposed to be on before. Not too wet, not too dry. And that's the last thing I want to do is run all over the place. And I want to be on this deep. And I'm going to put a mark on my trowel here. You can barely see that. Well, I guess barely see it is all I need as long as I do see it. And that's just about right here. Okay. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see because I haven't got much room to get the camera in here. And my wife and I are going to drop the base down in place. And uh, we have, there's no room for play. We have to do it precisely to get it to line up with the hole. So you're probably going to see mostly my behind. Okay. Swing it in. Yep. Back in tight. Okay. Yep. There we go. Is that a hole? bottom of this that should go down to the floor. And to make sure... Do you need to step over in this area so that closer? Yeah, I'm going to put the weight in there. And to make sure that it gets weight on it, put this towel down in here. And let me I think. I can do this without dropping it on my toe. This is a flywheel off of a exercise bicycle. here to put into the studs. Well, no job is complete without doing the cleanup and uh, when you do a concrete work like everything else, you gotta clean it up when you're done. 
And I was reading the directions on my bag of sand mix. And it requires five days to cure. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be taking any showers in five days. But I don't want to wait five days to finish up my plumbing. So I will just be careful and uh, I don't expect I'll be jerking it around any amount. The only pressure that would be put on it would be a little bit when I slide in the piece of pipe from the bottom with the glue on it. And what I'll do is I'll have my wife stand in the shower stall. It's already got the weight in there. I'll hold it down anyway. Keep from lifting. But uh, yeah, I'll have her stand in there when I put that piece in. And I'll try to make that one of the last pieces, although the way plumbing works, sometimes you have to start at both ends and finish in the middle. And I don't expect this is going to be any different than this one. So we'll get our tools cleaned up. And uh, I'll take you in and show you what it looks like now. So, this is the state of our bathroom at the moment. As you just saw, uh, we just finished installing our shower base, doing the cement down. And prior to doing that, which I didn't show you, I put plastic on this wall. Can't go all the way because we haven't got our plumbing rough-in inspection done yet. And uh, before I could do that, I had to get this done so I can plumb this in down in the basement for the drains. So uh, that's my next chore. Thanks for watching and following along with our progress. It's uh, slow going. Not all due to me, but partially because I'm just an old man and it takes me a while to get things done. You know what I'm saying? All right then. Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for following along, for commenting, and for subscribing. Bye now.